ביאור משנה ה'. Oh, we had a similar one from before. הפסח, קורבן הפסח, the Pesach sacrifice, ששחטו שלא לשמו, that you slaughtered it, not for its name. What does that mean? שלא לשם פסח, you shechted it, not for the sake of פסח, אלא לשם זבח אחר, you slaughtered it, you thought it was another sacrifice. What other sacrifice can be on Shabbat? Anybody, quick? שלמים. או תודה, לא תודה, נו, דה מועד, דה תמידים. רק דה תמידים, that's right, only דה תמידים, לא תשלמים. דה תמיד, דה מינחה אנד שחס, כגון לשם שלמים. I think when he says שלמים over here, it means דה תמיד, because peace of regular peace of rings for the individual one is not allowed to bring on שבת. Right? One is not allowed to bring. So שלמים over here, It's interesting why it says Shlomim. It is safe for the Tamid. Because he confused the Shem Shlomim, but it doesn't mean that you can bring them on Shabbat. Yeah, I, I think... Exactly, maybe. It's the Shlomim. Yeah, but or, you, or, how would you make such a mistake? Ah, maybe, yeah, yeah. It's, it's possible. Good, it's possible. Very good. I like, I, I like your... You, He, since he's doing the Pesach sacrifice, in his mind, he's usually dying, he's, on a Friday, he's usually done Shlamim, and he's thinking, I'm doing it for Shlamim. Very good, that makes sense. Very good, that makes sense. Kegon l'shem Shlamim. So he, he's doing a Pesach sacrifice, but the coin is thinking, oh, I'm doing a Shlamim, a peace offering. Be Shabbat, and he does it on Shabbat. Now it's, now it's problematic, because on Shabbat, you're only allowed to bring Pesach sacrifice. You're not allowed to bring a peace offering. בארבעה עשר בניסן שחל להיות בשבת. This is on the 14th of Nisan that happens to be on Shabbat. וכגון שטעה, for example, he made a mistake, וסבור היה שמותר לשחוט את הפסח בשבת, אפילו שלא לשמו, כשם שמותר לשחטו לשמו. He made a mistake. He thought that you're allowed to slaughter the Pesach on Shabbat, even not for its sake. How did he think that? I'm not quite sure. כשם שמוטל שחר שדה, זה נדין רידי הלכה, נדין רידי סמישנה. אני לא יודע. אולי הוא חשב ככה. כן. חייב עליו חטאת. He's obligated on this, uh, on this mistake, he has to bring a sin offering. Why? לפי שהזבח פסול, because you don't have to bring other sacrifices except the pastor sacrifices on Shabbat. So now he has to bring a sin offering, because he, even though he shechted the Pesach, But in his mind, he changed it, he has to bring a sin offering. כמו ששנו... Pesach is not good anymore, he can't use it for Pesach. It's possible, that's right. כמו ששנו לעיל, ונמצא ששחט בשגג, בשוגג שלא לשם מצווה. He made a mistake, and it's on a mitzvah, what he did. בגמרא מבואר, in the Gemara it explains, שמדובר כאן... Oh, maybe the Gemara is going to give us some more insight of what exactly happened. שמדובר כאן דווקא בחגון שעקר מן הקורבן שם פסח. So it, it, it looks like that he took the name of פסח from this particular sacrifice. What does that mean? כלומר שידע שהוא קורבן פסח. It knew, the guy knew that this is a פסח sacrifice. ואף על פי כן שחטו לשם שלמים. And even though he, it's a very strange yeah, case. It's a don. No, בזדון. בזדון? כאילו הוא יודע, he knows it's a קורבן פסח. It's a very strange case. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what's happening in his head. But let's continue. Maybe we're going to figure it out. So it says, in such a case, the sacrifice is not a good sacrifice. But if he completely made a mistake, ושחטו לשם שלמים, that he thought it was a שלמים sacrifice. And he shechted it for a שלמים sacrifice. Even though it's not allowed on Shabbat, then he's פטור. Then he's not, not obligated at all. Why? שעקירת שם פסח בטעות אינה עקירה, והפסח כשר הוא. And then the פסח sacrifice is going to be considered kosher. So how did we learn? We learn that if you don't do it to Hashem, Korban Pesach, Korban Pasul, now he says something else. But it looks... No? 
but it looks like there's no other opportunity on Erev Sh- oh, on so Shabbat. On That's right. Ah. On Shabbat, there's no other sacrifices okay. that are brought. Right. So, so, uh, so the, the guy said him, for sure you shechted it for Pesach sacrifice. There's no other things yeah, that you're no allowed other. to bring. So right. The fact that you're in the wrong place, maybe that's... Yeah. It's still difficult. We still let go to the Gemara no, to really understand it. Sense, yeah. You can make mistakes on Shabbos. Yeah, because there's not, nothing yeah. else to make mistakes on. Must be pe- Pesach. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it's still hard. Yeah. But in, in order to understand this, we need to learn the Gemara. I'm not quite sure. The, oh, is, maybe maybe this is what the discussion is. Veshar kol hazvachim sheshachatam leshum Pesach and all other sacrifices that he uh, sacrificed for the sake of Pesach, ve'arba'asach shechal yod b'shabbat, we're still dealing, the 14th of Nisan happens to be on Shabbat, im einan reu'im lekorban Pesach. So now the question is like this. So he took another sacrifice. It was a um, female and not a male. And he shechted it, so that it cannot, for sure it cannot be for Pesach, or it was a two-year-old, for sure it cannot be Pesach, or it was a cow, for sure it cannot be Pesach. Im einam reu'im lekorban Pesach, if these sacrifices, you cannot bring them for the Pesach Pesach sacrifice. Again, what's the case? The only case I can, I can think of here is the Tamid. Like it's the only one is allowed to be brought. Yeah. For example, maybe it's cattle or females. Vaya shugeg, and he made a mistake. Oh, it gives an example. I forgot it's Shabbat. I was I thought it was a weekday. For the coin, every, the better mikdash looks like a weekday every day because they're allowed to do all the melachas. I forgot. Get out of my hide. Or he thought that it was a Pesach sacrifice. Bagmara yen teisves, okay. Chayav chatat. In that case, he's obligated a sin offering. She en dino kod ketoe bedvar mitzvah. It's not like the previous case that he's making a mistake in a mitzvah. Why? Shaarei akol yodim she en min ze kasher lekorban pesach. He says, what do you mean? You saw it's a female. How can you tell me you thought it was pesach sacrifice? Everybody knows that a female cannot be brought. It's like everybody know that a cow cannot be be brought to accept a sacrifice. Don't tell me stories. Yeah, it cannot be. That's impossible. Ve'im ruin hen, and if they are befitting, for example, they, they're a sheep, and they're a year old, and they're a male. Ve'im ruin hen the korban pesach kegon seven shana shel shlamim sheshachato leshem pesach. This is a one-year-old sheep of peace offering that you slaughter it for the sacrifice. Again, I'm not clear, how is it, what is the Shlamim sacrifice doing on Shabbat in Beit HaMikdash? It's not supposed to be there. But maybe that's what is in his head, that it's a Shlamim Pesach sacrifice. It's not really there. Yeah, yeah what is it doing there? That, that's my, my problem. I think it's the same way as Shlamim, you could say uh, different. Yeah, but it's not supposed to be there. There's, there's, there's no such no, sacrifice in the temple. How can it happen? To have a yeah, but how is it possible that there would be it even she in the temple? And somebody uh, and somebody brought it just by the way that he forgot Shabbos. Yeah, it might be possible. <laughs> Another coin <laughs> thought it was Shabbos. He brought it. Okay. Oh, he's explaining. He's explaining. The, he's explaining exactly what you said. Shemitoch tirdato lishchot pischo taa veshachat et aseshel shlamim leshem pesach. There was another sheep over there, and he exchanged no, his sheep no, no. with another sheep. But another, it, it still makes a problem for me. There's no shlamim in Shabbat on the temple ground. That's what my, my, my problem is. Velo zachar Ah, he brought two sheep. One was shlamim. That is going to do later on, after Shabbat. And one is regular Pesach. And then he exchanged between the two. Otherwise, it cannot happen. That's what I was thinking, yeah. It's a shlamim for later on, not for now to sacrifice. He brought it for later. Yeah. Be, so in that case, nechleku beze Rabbi Eliezer ve Rabbi Yehoshua. So now we have a machloket of, in this case, when he exchanged, in other words, Shlami it's good for a Pesach sacrifice, but, it, but it's a good for a Pesach sacrifice, but you did it for shlamim, not for Pesach. So what happens? Rabbi Eliezer says, mechayev chatat. Rabbi Eliezer says, you have to bring a sin offering. You exchanged. Af al pi she taa bidvar mitzvah. It means even though it's this is a mitzvah and this is a mitzvah, the Rabbi Yoshua poter mechatat. Rabbi Yoshua is very strange. 
<laughs> Rabbi Yeshua says, you don't, you don't have to bring a sin offering. Why you don't have to bring a sin offering? You exchanged. Sheledato hatoe bedvar mitzvah veasa mitzvah kol shehi patur. Because according to Rabbi Yeshua, if you intended to be a, com- a mitzvah, you intended to be to make to do a commandment, and you mistaken, but by the chance you did a different commandment, you we're going to say it's okay. You don't bring a sin offering of that. You still did, the, the, the you still did the mitzvah, a different mitzvah, but you did a mitzvah. Rabbi Yeshua says it's not the mitzvah that you intended to do. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, but I understand the idea yeah, of Rabbi Yeshua. I like Rabbi you did something wrong, but you don't have to bring a sin offering because you still did the mitzvah. mitzvah because you did the mitzvah. Shekriv korban that you brought the sacrifice. Ve'arei kol hazvachim shenizbechu afilu shorel shemam and all the other sacrifices that they were brought, even not for the sake of the name, k'sherim they're kosher and you can eat it afterwards. Ve'af shenizbechu leshem pesach sover Rabbi Yoshua shek'sherim em. And even when they exchange, we say that Pesach is different. Remember, we, we learned before, we said Pesach is the only one you cannot be exchanged. Right. All the others, so Rabbi Yoshua says also Pesach can be changed. That's the difference. Rabbi Elazar says, no, Pesach is different, like the way we learned it before. Rabbi Yoshua says Pesach is not different. It's like the other thing that if you exchange them, you're okay. Amar Rabbi Eliezer. So now Rabbi Eliezer is going to attack Rabbi Yoshua. He says, I don't like the, the, the way you're learning over here. Let's see. Amar Rabbi Yezer, Ma ima Pesach shehu mutar lishmo? It says, I don't understand you. I says, look at the Pesach sacrifice. Mutar lishachto b'Shabbat. The Pesach sacrifice, you're allowed to slaughter on Shabbat. Why? Because Pesach pushes away Shabbat. Right? So the Pesach sacrifice pushes away Shabbat. You're allowed to shecht it on Shabbat itself. Kshashina et shmo, and you and we know the rule that when you change the name in your head, you call it Shlamim, then you're obligated. According to you, you're saying you're obligated. I say you're obligated, and you say you're obligated. We both say you're obligated. So how, how, how you do you make sense? Chayav Chatat, you're obligated Chatat. Zvachim, Shen Asurim Lishmam, a regular sacrifice that you're not allowed to bring on Shabbat. You're not allowed to bring a Shlamim sacrifice on Shabbat. It doesn't push away Shabbat. And then you change the name. And now you change them and you shech them for the sake of Pesach. How much more so now you should be, be obligated to bring a sin offering? How much more so? He said, Pesach, you're allowed to do on Shabbat and if you change, you bring a sin offering. This you're not allowed to do on Shabbat. And you're not going to say an offering? What are you talking about? Amar lo Rabbi Yoshua. Rabbi Yoshua says, nice statement, but I'm not impressed. I can give you an answer. Amar lo Rabbi Yoshua le Rabbi Yezer. Lo, en se kal vachomer. It says, nice try, but it's not, log- it's not logical what you just asked me. Why not? Im amarta be Pesach, if you say on the Pesach sacrifice. That what? She shinai et shmo chayav that you change his name, you obligate. Why do you obligate? Because you change it from something which is permissible. Pesach sacrifice, you're allowed to shecht on Shabbat. And you change it to something that you're not allowed to, to, to shecht on Shabbat. Ah, so you're changing from something you're allowed to something that you're not allowed. Sheshinau ledavar asur, you change the Pesach sacrifice. And in your mind, you were thinking it's a peace offering. Shasur le shachto be Shabbat and a peace offering you're not allowed to shecht on Shabbat. Tomar be zvachim you're going to say this on a on a peace offering. Haim tomar be shar zvachim if you're going to say the same thing in other sacrifices. She shinan le davar amutar that you're going to change them to something permissible. Le shem pesach she mutar le shachto be pesach sheyeh chayav. So you can't say that. In other words, in the pesach sacrifice you take something which is allowed and you turn it to something which is not allowed. Here you're taking something which is not allowed and turning something allowed that you cannot do. You cannot bring this logical manipulation to me. Yeah. So Amar lo Rabbi Eliezer le Rabbi Yoshua. I says Rabbi Eliezer tells Rabbi Yoshua, okay, you're right. I agree with you. But I can prove to you my point from another area. I can prove to you. It's the snow coming down. I can, pr- can prove to you the, my point from another place in the Torah that I'm right and you're wrong. It says, Emurei Tzibur. What do we can learn it? 
we can learn it from emurei tzibur. What's emurei tzibur? Karbanot ha'amurim betzibur shiyakrivim. So we learned on Pesach, on, on Shabbat, you're not allowed to bring any other sacrifice except the Pesach sacrifice and except the communal sacrifice. Communal sacrifice you're allowed to bring on Shabbat. This is the tamid, the tamid sacrifice. Shiyakrivi kegon olot tamid umusaf shiyakrivim b'shabbat. For example, the tamid sacrifice or the musaf sacrifice that one brings on Shabbat. So it says, I'm going to prove it to you from there. Yochichu. They're going to prove it. It says, how they're going to prove it? Shema shedachita et akal vachomer shedan tino dichu. It says, you're not going to be able to say that, you know, um, permitted to not permitted is allowed and permitted and not permitted to permit is not allowed. How? Yochichu. Shehen mutarim leshman. That if you take a, a regular sacrifice, let, let's say it's a shachi sacrifice, let's call it mincha sacrifice, right? The mincha sacrifice you took, shemutar le shachbat be shachtam le shmam, you're allowed to shecht the mincha sacrifice on Shabbat for the name, as long as you have it, you know it's a mincha sacrifice, you're allowed to shecht it. Va shochet le shman, ve ilu a shochet shar zvachim le shem imurei tzibur be Shabbat chayav. And here you go, this is against everything you say. If you take a shlamim sacrifice, and by mistake, you think that this Shlamim sacrifice is the sacrifice for Mincha. And the, and the Torah tells you on such a sacrifice, in other words, you took something which is not allowed, and you're thinking that it is allowed. Switch. You switch it the other way, like, yeah. like we said. And, and, here you, and here the Torah tells you, you are obligated. So you see Rabbi Yeshua, you're still, you're still stuck. Chayav, Chayav Chatat. Even though you change them from something which is not allowed to something which is allowed. Amar lo Rabbi Yoshua, Rabbi Yoshua said, I'm still not impressed. It's still not good. I can still protect myself. So he says, how can Rabbi Yoshua protect himself? Amar lo Rabbi Yoshua le Rabbi Eliezer, lo. He says, you can't bring such a, such a strange thing. He says, well, you don't say, it's, it's, it's not relatable. It's not the same case. But it is the same case. What do you mean it's not the same case? And la vira raya memurei tzibur. It says that you cannot tell me you can bring a proof from the mincha sacrifice. It says why not? Im amarta bemurei tzibur. If you're going to say with the mincha sacrifice, shashochet lishmam chayav, that the one who slaughters them is obligated. Why? How is that different than regular sacrifices? It says mincha sacrifices are special. It says they've got special. It's not pesach to zvachim. It's special. Why is it special? Sheyesh lahem kitzvah. Because you know exactly who they are and who's their job to do it. What does it mean? She'en makrivim b'shabbat. Because it says you know exactly. On Shabbat, ela shnei kvasim tmidim veshnei kvasim musufim. You know on Shabbat there's two tamid for uh, mincha and mairi, mincha and shachis, and two, two for musaf. And after you slaughter them, you know that there's no other sacrifices. It's already finished the job. This is not called, um, this is called, you did some by mistake, you didn't mistakenly. In other words, you, know, you forgot it from the beginning. That's what it's meaning. It cannot, you cannot make such a mistake in the middle of shechting. Because if you... Who, who shechts the mincha sacrifice? There's a coin that that's his job, to shochet the mincha. He cannot make a mistake. He knows this is the mincha sacrifice. Shaloyal lit ot bekach. It says you can't say that in the Pesach sacrifice because that's hundreds of them. It's hundreds of them. Then you can make a mistake. Pesach oshlamim. But the guy who brings the mincha offering, he knows it's a mincha offering. He cannot, he can never make such a mistake. She toma be Pesach, be korban Pesach, she en lo kitzva. It says, Pesach doesn't have an enumerated amount. And not an enumerated person who does it. By the way, it's only one particular coin. You cannot have all the coin in thinking that it's their job to do the mincha sacrifice. Because they, then you're going to bring a hundred mincha sacrifices. Oh. It's only one guy who's supposed to do his job. So you cannot make that mistake. But in the Pesach sacrifice, it says you can make the mistake. Because it can be Pesach and Shlamim. There's hundreds of sheep over here. You can make that mistake. Even though you're not allowed to bring Shlamim, you can make the mistake that it is Shlamim. Right. In, the, in the Mincha sacrifice, yeah. 
שאין לו קצבה, because the Pesach doesn't have a numerated amount, שהכל צריכים לקורבן זה, everybody needs this sacrifice, והכל טרודים בו, and everybody is busy with it. ומתוך כך, and that's why, because everybody is busy, אפשר שיהיה אדם טועה ויהיה סבור על זבח אחר שפסח הוא. He can think that the ship he brought for שלמים is actually for פסח. But the coin that that's only his job to do the, the מנחה, he cannot make such a mistake. ואף אם שחט כבר את פסחו, and even though you're going to say, but he knows, because he already shechted his פסח sacrifice, maybe it's the same. הוא מצא זבח זה עומד באזהרה, and then he found another, sec- another ship standing in the אזהרה, וכסבור שפסח הוא ושחטו לשם מישהו, and he thought that this is a פסח sacrifice. So he says, I'm going to do the other guy a favor, I'm going to shecht it, even if it's not mine, it's fine. It, it makes sense to do such a thing. הרי טועה בדבר מצווה הוא, this is a mistake. Okay. רבי יהושע says, I, in other words, it's a mitzvah, still it's a mitzvah. התאמר שיהיה חייב, and if it's a mistake, and he does a mitzvah, you cannot say that he's obligated. רבי מאיר אומר, so this is the machloket of רבי אליעזר and רבי יהושע. רבי מאיר comes and says, אף השוחט זבחים אחרים בשבת לשם אמורי ציבור, רבי מאיר disagrees even with the first premise. You know, we said that if you שחט אמורי ציבור, and you thought about something else, that you חייב. רבי מאיר says, no, 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 you're not in חייב, because it's, it's a mitzvah, therefore you're not חייב even אמורי ציבור. רבי מאיר אומר, אף השוחט זבחים אחרים בשבת לשם אמורי ציבור, if you took a peace offering and you thought it was a תמיד offering, לשם תמידים או מוספים בשוגג, even then you're פטור. Why? Because according to him, it's true you made a mistake, but if the... Ah, if it's kosher, it's kosher. If the only problem according to Rabbi Meir, if it's not kosher, that's right. If the korban is not kosher, then it's a problem. But if the korban is kosher, in other words, you can eat it, then it's okay. You don't have to bring a sin offering. לפי שהקורבן כשר, because the korban is still kosher, שכל הזבחים שנשחטו שלא לשמם כשרים, because we have a rule that even though you sacrifice, Pesach is the only strange one that we said, that even, even though you sacrifice another sacrifice, not for its name, you, sh- you have to bring another sacrifice now, because you didn't do the right job, but the, the, the meat is kosher meat and, and should be eaten by the Kohanim. That's right. But Pesach sacrifice, it's no good. That's a problem. Varei shina ledavar amutar, he exchanged it to something which is permissible. לפי ששבת נדחה להידחות אצל כל מיני ציבור. In other words, it was a peace offering, and you brought it as a, as a מנחה offering, it says, you're still, you're still good, don't worry about it. Because you shechted it for the right, I mean, you're allowed to bring a מנחה offering on שבת. ואין הלכה לא כרבי מאיר ולא כרבי אליעזר, אלא כרבי יהושע. Oh. And the halacha, the halacha, are you likes? The halacha is not like Rabbi Meir and not like Rabbi Yeshua, but the halacha is like Rabbi, eh, not like Rabbi Meir and not like Rabbi Ezer, the halacha is like Rabbi Yeshua, that Rabbi Yeshua protected himself nicely yeah. against Rabbi Eliezer's attack.